Good morning, everybody. Let me meet you again. Our meeting now is the first meeting. We discuss basic American values and belief. Welcome to the class. We start now. From the beginning of settler in the new land or America, there were many values and belief that we can learn. From the beginning, when British people depart from their own land, their own country in British, they have a special values already. On the beginning, the values is courage. Everybody have courage because they have to cross thousand miles in the ocean to get to arrive in the new land. Before the independence of the America, except courage, they have already values, hard work, self-confidence, and other. But after the Independent Day of the United States, they, on their declaration of independence, stated, we hold this truth to be self-evident that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain inalienable right that among these are liberty and the pursuit of happiness. That is on the Declaration of Independence stated. The first self-evident that all men are created equal, equality in opportunity that they are endowed by creator by a certain inalienable right that is life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That is long, long ago. But today, in this many millennial period, no more pursuit of happiness. Happiness first. Happiness first. We had to create everyday happiness in this millennial period. And the other good life, good liberty will approach us, will appear their self. You have to understand. On the 18th century, 1776, on the Declaration of Independence, American pursue happiness. But American in this millennial period create happiness in everybody. You also.
the British colonial settlers in the 1776 declared their independence from England and established a new nation, the United States of America. We discussed already in 1789 when they wrote the constitution for their new nation, they separated, they separated church and state so that there would never be a government spotted church. There would never be a government supported by any religion. They created a climate of freedom where the emphasis was on the individual, on individual. The United States came to the associated in their mind with the concept of individual freedom, everybody freedom, not only the country freedom. This is probably the most basic American value. The most basic American value that individual freedom. There is a price to be paid for this individual freedom that is self evident. You have to do something, create something to use your freedom. American believe that individual must learn, must learn to rely on themselves of rich losing freedom. You know rely on? Rely on mean depend on depend on themselves, not depend to others, not depend to the country, not depend to their parents, their family. No, again, individual freedom. This means achieving both financial and emotional independence from their parents as, as early as possible, as early as possible. In our country, you may be, all of you, are sporty up until 25 years old. After S1 graduation, you have to find a job or you create a job yourself. But your parents still spotted the fee of your school. The school, your school fee are paid by your parents. Not like in America. In America, today, Parents supported their children up to 18 years old, up to 18 years old. Long, long ago before, on the 19th century, at 12 years old, parents still supported. Again, rely on themselves. It means individual freedom. This strong belief in self-reliance continues today as a basic American values. Continue up to now, still continue today. Furthermore, other countries imitate these values and believe. We are in Indonesia. We learn their values and believe. Any discussion?
American writer Bharati Mukherjee regard American as the state of the drama or self transformation. Like a drama, you know drama. You know drama. Drama is an acting. Acting means take action. That is self transformation going on. She sees American culture as a culture of dream where belief in material shape, which is not the same as materialistic, can be given to a dream. Belief in material shape. She said that belief that one station, once more, she said, American believe that one station in life like poverty, education, family background doesn't determine one faith. Doesn't determine one faith. Whether you are poverty, whether you are having low education or full family background, it doesn't determine your faith. But again, rely on you, depend on you. The American belief in reversal of Omen that is, a lay value do not spell inevitable disaster. Outsider can triumph on merit. They have a dream in America, which most of them take for granted that are all people are born equal and that they have the same opportunity to get what they want out of other life okay you are also in our country you have freedom you choose yourself what do you want to be that is your choice we are freedom already not only in america now maybe the situation in our country now look like similar with american What do you want to be in five years? That is your choice. Whether you want to be a lecturer, whether you want to be a businessman, whether you want to be a rich man or a poor man is depend on you, rely on you. This is their belief that everyone has a chance to succeed in the United States. Everybody have a chance to succeed. What it mean to succeed or have having success? It mean the first one to be rich like their motto from the right to the riches. Yeah. Generation of immigrants from the early settler today, up today, have come with his expectation that everyone has a chance to succeed in the United States. They have felt that because individuals are free from excessive political, like we are here, free excessive, except you create for not excessive, religious, Except you create social control. You create. If you don't create, we are free to choose. Like myself, I am from a Balinese stock. My, 
my choice is to live in Yogyakarta with special purpose and special reason. It depends on you. Some of my colleagues back to Bali or going to Jakarta, went to Jakarta to find job. That is your choice. Again, your choice. We have equal opportunity in Indonesia, similar like in the United States now. No worry. That is material wealth became a value to American people. Material wealth became a value to American people. American pay a price for their material wealth. That is hard work. I know you can hard work. I know our parents hard work to create this independence, hard work. But in America, they have a special suggestion with different with us. In America, the suggestion sound like this. I heard your standard of living. Make your standard of living, I heard. You get the meaning? Your standard of living. But in our country, the suggestion sound like this. Make your giving higher. Not your standard of living, but your giving to somebody higher. It's your choices again, depend on you, whether you imitate the American to make a higher standard of living, to make the standard of living higher, or the standard of giving higher, depend on you. They have come to see material possession as the natural reward for their hard work. Material possession, yeah. In Indonesia, already imitating the American. Please find in Google who is the richest the, among the ten richest. Who is the richest? Because we in Indonesia now there are more than 10 rich people. But who is the richest? The richest in Indonesia. You know, every political now are rich. We are like in America. Our president is a businessman. The member of the ministry, not only educated but also rich. Okay, go on. Most Americans believe that if a person works hard, it is possible to have a good standard of living. That is, work hard, self reliant rely on self, our self. This is then values, there is individual freedom, self reliance, equality of opportunity, competition, material, wealth, and hard work who strongly affected American in their everyday life. This is also in Indonesia now. 
if you don't have self reliance if you don't believe in equality of opportunity if you don't believe in material well we are you are like the time of my your grandfather the living of your grandfather the standard of living of your grandfather because another suggestion of competition competition in america compete with others business compete but in our country we are advised not to compete with others but compete with yourself you understand in indonesia compete with yourself compete with yourself it means your yesterday and your today and tomorrow should be better than the yesterday your tomorrow should be better than today that is mean compete by yourself not compete with others you choose again life is a chain of choices so you choose American values such as equality of opportunity and self reliance are ideal, not reality. Good idea. In reality, some people have a better chance for success than others. Of course, we are also here in Indonesia have a better chance for success because they are work harder. Those who are born into rich family have more opportunity than those who are born in poor family. Yes, it's depend on those who are born into rich family have more opportunity than those who are born in poor family. Yes, but depend on. If the next generation of the rich family imitate their parent the way their parent work, they way their parents accumulate money they are in better condition but if they are just gambling just sleeping and so on the opportunity to be richer than their parents are less Many black Americans have fewer opportunities than the average than the average white American. Yes. Yes. That is historically, yes. But today, in this millennium, you find in the Google who is the richest black man in America. You can find there. Black men rich a lot now. Okay. This, this, the history of emancipation to spot the value. That is fighting everybody every people in indonesia in america should fight for a better future should work hard for a better future that is america black people in america also fought for their future fit not waiting and wasting time they are work hard they learn more don't forget the more you learn the more you earn that is from black people in america 
the more you learn the more you earn not the more you sleep and gambling and the more you earn no 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 wise word like this but the more you learn the more you earn the way to fight for the future you learn better everybody of you must learn better in order to learn sorry in order to earn something better okay yeah that is their movement their movement because individual freedom are already famous and already stated legally but there are sorry there were imbalanced situation so they are fighting fighting by learning that is All American want equality, at least in principle. Yes, the principle is running well. But the application having a lot of hindrance. Equality of opportunity is principle up to now in America. But some hindran in application this form of equality offers all individual the same chance to get ahead it glorified personal achievement through free competition and allow everyone to climb you know to climb the ladder of success you are now climbing you are still climbing so later you will be successful debate of race and multiculturalism in united states is a struggle done by minority everybody struggle Everybody struggle. Immigrant from Indonesia now living in America, they are struggling. They are also fighting for a better living, for a better standard of living, and of course, after that, a better standard of giving. Freedom, order, and equality became the basic values. You know, order, order is no no harassment, no demonstration. In order, in a good situation. in any area of life that is order all american regardless of any race religion color or countries they were immigrated from that is they are equal now but on trump presidency there were a black man killed a few months ago that is because of the, the trump presidency by now is look like racist you have to learn it 
Assimilation in USA is, is running well. It was running well, but now there are pride and prejudice. You know prejudice? You know prejudice? Yeah. Between black and white, between yellow and black and white, and so on. There are prejudice. Not running well as before, before the Trump presidency administration. I think the time is over. Any discussion? The time is over. So hopefully you get anything important and of use in your life. Once more, hopefully in this meeting, you get something important and of use or useful in your living. Thank you. Thank you. Meet again next week. See you next week. Bye-bye.